I'm here at Algonquin College with Max Turcott, Nova Sedlik. Did I pronounce that right? You did, yes. Now you're an amateur boxer and you're having a good training session on a Sunday morning here at the Algonquin College Impact Zone, but you just fought last night, did you not? I did, yeah. How, how did that fight go? I won. I won by decision. Uh, it, was, it was competitive. You know, she was a taller fighter. It's something I'm not very used to, but uh, I know I still came out with the win. I used my jab really well and my reach and... You know, it's a fun fight. I mean, you're obviously okay. You're here training this morning. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'm perfectly fine. Ready to go. Wow. And speaking of ready to go, you are going in a tournament soon. I Tell am. us about that. Uh, so two weeks from now, I've got the Canadian National Championships. Uh, I'm on Team Ontario. I won the gold medal at Golden Gloves. Mm -hmm. And um, probably fighting the top fighters from Quebec and whatever other provinces send their fighters. And, you know, it's definitely the hardest challenge of my amateur career. You know, everyone there is going to be a lot more experienced than me. Mm -hmm. I've, I only have 13 fights. Most of them have 30, 40, 50 or more have been fighting for a lot longer than I have. Wow. So I'm, I'm a huge underdog going in, but you know what? I love a good challenge and it's a fight, right? So anything can happen. Pop those shoulders into the slip. You're trying out for the national team. Like th that's the implications of this thing? Yes. Now, what does that mean to people who don't understand that? Because I think people hear like nationals, regionals, they think glee club, they don't know what's exactly going on. So tell <laughs> us what being on the national team would mean. So, I mean, as an amateur athlete, it's kind of the pinnacle of, of the sport, right? Representing your country, traveling around the world, uh, international fights, tournaments. I mean, next year you have the Commonwealth Games, right? And uh, it's just, I've been an athlete a really long time and being on the national team is everything to me like it's something i've been i've been striving for for years so you know i'm going to give it everything i got awesome now you do have a gofundme page set up to help you uh reach this goal if someone sponsors you what will the money go to like how how will that help you on your journey so all the funds will go towards a hotel stay i'm there for six days and uh i mean obviously the gas to get there i've, I've got to pay for food every day you know so grocery chips <laughs> restaurants and like that but and uh, anything we've got left over goes back to the club. I mean, we, we travel a lot for fights, and that's, that's gas money, overnight stays sometimes. So anything I don't use goes right back to the club. Oh, tell us about your club for a little bit. So I'm a member of the Celtic Hammer Boxing Club. We're fairly new, probably about three years old. But, uh, you know, we train our hearts out. We don't even have our own gym space. We use the Algonquin College. And they're, we, they're good people here at the Impact Zone. They are. You know, they've been really nice and, and helpful, and they give us as many hours as, we, as they can. Uh, and when we're not here, you know, in the summer times, we train out in the tennis courts. We, we do hill sprints. You know, we do whatever we have to, to to get ready for our fights. And you know what? I think we've got some of the best guys in the city, so that's just me, though. <laughs> that's awesome. You know, I got to watch you guys train. You guys have a real positive uh, atmosphere in there, and you guys look like you're having fun, even though you fought last night. Yeah. <laughs> now, give, it, give us a prediction now for this tournament. I know a lot of fighters don't like to do this, but uh, I like to ask it anyway. Give us your prediction for how it's going to go down in two weeks. You know what? In my mind, it goes down with me on top. Like, it's every fight I'm going to go out there, and I'm going to give it, like, empty my gas tank, and, and you know what? I'm going to throw more than they will. They're going to eat more shots than I will, and I'm going to come out the winner every time. That's how it's going to go down. Well, thank you so much for your time. Listen, go to the GoFundMe page, sponsor an athlete. She's a fantastic athlete. I look forward to uh, hearing about your fights and watching your fights in the future. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot.